During First News at 5, we told you about the performance audit done for the Youngstown City Schools, how the district's running a deficit, could be facing consolidations and layoffs. New at 6 now, reaction to audit from the teachers union president and a board member. Live in the studio with that is First News anchor Stan Boney. Well, the president of the Youngstown Schools Teachers Union, Eric Teutsch, began our interview wondering if the financial problems in the performance audit were a result of CEOs running the school district under House Bill 70 when the school board was not part of the oversight process. Teutsch also said the district has way too many administrative costs, and if the school board is looking at areas to cut, that is where it should start. Teutsch says he is concerned about the projected deficit and the possibility of layoffs. I feel that they really need to take a look at spending and some of their practices and what they're putting some of that money into. You know, to me, your, your core investment in a school district should be in your teaching staff and your resources that are directly benefiting students. I think they need to take a look at how much spending they've done that is not directly benefiting students and benefiting academics in any way, shape and form and start making their cuts there. School board member Brenda Kimball had this to say, I was not surprised with the performance audit. I've been saying that we need to get rid of a lot of these contracts, like Quick Med. How many signs do we need to see before we realize there's a problem? It's all up to the board to do the right thing, and they haven't done anything. In a letter attached to the audit, Superintendent Jeremy Batchelor stated the district is working on a comprehensive budget process, a capital improvements plan, and a staffing plan. A committee has been formed to consider consolidating buildings, and the district is working to ensure there's no negative balance by 2027. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.